Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey capricorn welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in all right guys so let's get straight into your pre-shuffle energies here the first card that came out for you for august is the four the seven of cups now when the seven of cups came out i heard career choices. Okay. And it's interesting. Well, it's no surprise that for Capricorn, you know, you were going to be most likely going to be talking about career finances and work. Um, I personally, I do kind of consider you guys to be like the, the CEO of the Zodiac. Um, 
But this is more than just career and finances. Yes, it does have to do with that. But also it has to do with your home. It has to do with your stability, your inner stability, your inner strength, your inner foundation. This could either be, for some of you, this is spiritual. So this, I, this could either be spiritually oriented as in like your own inner spiritual sense of self, your own inner spiritual reality. Um, some of you are very focused on spirituality, but others are, of you are focused more on the physical world. Um, but also, uh, and I'm getting this from the Four of Wands here, also, what would be fulfilling f in your home life, in your family life? Some of you are actually very much in tune with and thinking about what would you want to do with your life or what kind of career would you want to pursue um, in order to build a home life or build a foundation so that you can have a home and a family. Um, and that could ha absolutely have to do with career choices, okay? Um, yeah. And some of you might actually be moving physically. You might actually be looking for a place to move. This move to, this could be um, for career, like for maybe you have a job opportunity. Um, that you need to move for or you're looking to relocate okay either way I do get a sense of someone here is kind of will be moving you do have the four of wands with the six of swords and then under underneath the deck you have the chariot the chariot is officially Cancerian energy um, but ooh, and actually cancer is your exact opposite in the zodiac okay so um, we did just leave cancer season. We're now in Leo season um, as of the moment when I'm recording this reading as far as Western astrology goes. Um, and so for some of you, cancer season might have been a jump start, might have really kickstarted this, this frame of mind, this thought process in what do I want to do with my life and how is that going to influence my family, maybe the family that you already have or the family that you are looking to develop grow and build over time over you know i don't know i literally just heard over the next 30 years that's for someone specific i don't know who but and that's weird but <laughs> but um okay getting into alignment now there are there could for some of you there could be some uh, some emotional situations here that you're needing to clean up but I'm not picking up anything too dire, too extreme, or too, you know, emotionally wrenching. The Seven of Cups energy is mostly just dealing with the options. Maybe you might be a little bit confused. I don't really feel like, I feel, but I feel like you're... You're much. You're in a very grounded place. So if you are feeling any sort of confusion, um, it's not really too overwhelming. You're kind of aware of why or how things are working out the way they are. Blah blah blah. Whatnot. Whatever. But the Seven of Cups mainly just wow. The Seven of Cups mainly just feels like. Um, options okay just dealing looking through the options exploring them seeing which one works out best for you now we have the lovers with the ace of wands yes okay and, I, and you also now the nine of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck there is a choice in front of you capricorn and it does i literally just heard a career choice what is it that you truly want to do with your life? What is going to be more in alignment with who you are or who you, who you see yourself developing into as time rolls on, the, 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 the persona that you want to uh, cultivate as you move forward in your life, okay? And you're, uh, this is a really opportune time for you to do this, Nine of Pentacles, and I did just see 444 four, four on the counter. This is the Nine of Pentacles here. This is um, abundance. This is um, Virgo energy, but it's, it's being in a place of set up for great wealth, being set up for great wealth in the future. If you think about it in one way, the Nine is only one, one spot, le uh, one, one pentacle away from completing. The completion with the 10 okay so i have I, I get the sense i get the feeling that capricorn you're very much in an in a space energetically physically mentally maybe even emotionally that in which you could go in any direction okay you're very well manifested um you're poised to to go just about anywhere right now okay 
That's really awesome, Cap. That's really, really awesome. All right. So let me just reset here. Okay. One more shuffle. And then we'll get started. Five, five, five on the counter. All right, guys. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cap, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but even as I'm channeling your energy, I'm hearing career choices, finances, and stability. It's almost as if some of you, some of this kind of feels like some of you are in this fresh energy of like you just graduated high school and now you're moving on to college. I mean, obviously many of the people that I, I, I'm channeling for or the people that are watching these videos have gotten through college. So maybe it's like you just completed college. Maybe you just completed your undergrad and now you're looking to go for a master's degree, maybe even a doctorate. Um, maybe some of you have came, gotten, gotten to the point in your lives where you do want to continue or uh, want to get into uh, uh, continued education, um, further your education somehow, or this could just be symbolic and, you know, just an analogy of someone being on the precipice of a brand new start. I am kind of seeing in my head like some like a very much a fool energy. We'll see if that comes out here, but someone standing at the edge of a cliff ready to take a new journey, ready to take a le new leap of faith or just ready to expand on what on something that they may have been preparing for in the past. OK, let's give this five shuffles for my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August and beyond. Best messages, please, Spirit, for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, that's number two. This is number three. Yeah, Cancerian energy is coming back up. I am feeling... And I'm feeling Cancerian energy. I'm also seeing the chariot. Some of you actually may be dealing or in a relationship involved with a Cancer. You might have Cancer in your chart, but... Uh, this is four. The, 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 the main message that's coming through with that Cancerian energy is family. How do I set myself up to be, in a, to be a part of a family unit, to have a family, to support a family, to develop and build a family, okay? That's really beautiful, Capricorn. And five. For my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2019 and beyond. Boop. All right. Here we go, Cap. Overall energy. You do, oh yes, you do have the Ten of Cups. I mean, here we go. This is what's on, this is what's in your sights, okay? And for many of you, you you're, you're feeling this energy or you're focused on this energy because you're cultivating it. You're finding it within yourself. You are, um, and actually I believe the Ten of Cups can be considered Cancerian energy. That's fantastic. Um, but you're finding it within yourselves or you're focused on finding it. And oh, hold on, guys. I got my hands are kind of dry. I got to put some lotion on. Um, or you're focused on finding it within yourselves. And that's influencing you to look towards the future and see, well, what do I really want? What's going to be my fullest fulfillment, my 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 emotional fulfillment here? And I, I do feel. To be quite honest. Depending, I mean, varying to, to, to varying degrees, obviously everybody's on their own journey, but I do feel like most, if not all of you are, are, are in this Ten of Cups energy, or at least just the people that I'm channeling for. And you've been cultivating this within yourself, and now it's almost as if you want to branch out and extend this now. Okay, this is beautiful. Underneath the Ten of Cups, you have the, ooh, the Seven of Swords. Mm, what is that about? Underneath the Seven of Swords, you have the Page of Wands, okay? 
And then you have, ah, look at that, the Ten of Pentacles. And it's funny because I was going to say, for some of you, you do, it's, it's almost as if you're already in that Ten of Pentacles state. And now, oh, that's what the Seven of Swords is. You're already in that Ten of Pentacles state. And now you're trying to find, now you're focused on finding the Ten of Cups. Okay, here's what the Seven of Swords is speaking of. For many of you, okay, you have been in an energy of just being focused on career and finances. And you've been deceiving yourself when it comes to love or emotional fulfillment. For some of you, this change in career trajectory is coming through because you're looking for greater fulfillment. With the Page of Wands here, this to me is about self-discovery, rediscovering yourself or re-identifying yourself, sizing yourself up, looking deeper into who you truly are and trying to understand it, trying to find out why certain things are the way they are. Um, I, I do, before I go any further, I do want to caution for any of you that are looking within yourselves and trying to figure out why X, Y, and Z is the way it is. There are some elements to you or to us that are just, not going to make logical sense. So just keep that in mind. That's for a specific message for a few of you. Um, try, don't try to an overanalyze yourself too much. Really, just take it as it is. Like, just, I would focus on, if you're looking to understand yourself better, I would just focus on loving yourself for who you are, not always making absolute sense of every little thing, okay? That was a really specific message. But for some of you, you've really been lying to yourselves, deceiving yourselves about love, family, relationships, emotions. It really kind of feels like you've been so focused on not wanting to deal with love that you've really gotten to yourself to a really good place. Ten of Pentacles, very strong, stable, secure. But now you're looking for that emotional side of things. So yes, that is going to influence a change in career for some of you. For others of you, you don't really need to change your career. You just want to find more emotional fulfillment and you're trying to understand how you can do that. This is a really beautiful energy, Capricorn. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's get into the rest of your reading here where you can look at this as first half, second half of your reading or you can look at and or and or you could look at as, look at it as first and half, first half, second half of your month. Um, keep in mind, though, that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. So just take it as it resonates for you. OK, first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading, you have the nine of wands, perseverance. This is that energy that I'm feeling of being very guarded against love. I really feel like some of you have really kind of been battered and bruised. Maybe maybe you've been through the ringer a little bit. Um, uh, I am picking up that some of you, you had somewhat of a, quote, failed attempt at some sort of relationship or something like that in the past that might have been really traumatic or may have just put you on a hard defensive. And it may be, <clears throat> it may have been that situation that kind of propelled you into this into this focus on money, finances, the physical realm rather than the emotional realms, okay? Because this nine of wands, this nine of wands does feel like a past energy that just keeps. It's almost like it's haunting you. But I do feel like you're taking conscious action, action oriented steps towards letting your guard down, not feeling so wounded or or, or fearful, you know, around love. Nine of wands is coupled with. The Empress, oh. Interesting, it's like the rise of the divine feminine energy is kind of like, what I'm seeing is, it's kind of like pulling you out of your cave or your shell in a way. Um, pulling you out of some sort of hiding space that you were in, I, that's what I literally see you know, the, the divine mother or just a, a caring and compassionate energy just kind of like coaxing you out of whatever protective protectiveness you've been in. I do feel like some of you have been in hiding and it's interesting because that would be indicative of Cancerian energy also, which again is your exact opposite in the Zodiac. Cancerians love to go in their shells. Trust me, I, I share some cancer energy. I love to isolate myself when the time is right, when I feel like it. But here, this is like, 
the Empress is almost starting to, the Empress energy, or maybe even the rise of the Divine Feminine, maybe you're working on integrating your feminine energy if you're more masculinely oriented, or you, you don't even have to be. You could be more feminine oriented, but you are, um, I, I feel like either you're working on healing your inner feminine or it's the feminine energy that's coming forward to help coax you out of hiding, coax you out of this extreme defensiveness or something like that, okay? That's really beautiful and it feels wonderful. It's almost as if you can breathe again. I like that a lot, Cancer. Uh, not Cancer, whoa, Capricorn, sorry. <laughs> Capricorn. Okay, second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Capricorn. You've got the Three of Cups celebrating you coming out of hiding. There, you may even be in some sort of some situations in which your friends are your friends are like, finally, we haven't seen you in forever. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting from this Three of Cups here. Okay. Um, and also I'm just seeing celebrations, spending time with your friends, or maybe putting yourself out there, you know, allowing yourself to like, let loose, cut loose a little bit, go out to a bar, have some drinks, have some fun, meet some people, get to know some people, maybe even go out on some dates. There might be, for some of you, there may be someone specific that's, that may have been trying to get you to go out on a date with them for the longest time. And you might be accepting that three of cups is coupled with I told you, Knight of Wands, okay? There really could be someone coming forward that's trying to take you out, Cap. Maybe this is you though, okay? Take it as it resonates. Maybe you're finally getting into that energy of, I wanna go out on a date. You know, maybe you are interested in somebody and you could be moving forward towards them, okay? Just, I would caution against, you know, too, too much of a hasty energy, but you know, this, and, and to be quite honest, not going to lie, just going to, you know, call it like I see it. The Three of Cups with the Knight of Wands is very much a one night stand energy. Not passing any judgment, guys. If that's what you're looking for right now, gone, do you, boo boo, have a great time. But just keep in mind, you know, that any uh, meeting someone under these circumstances doesn't necessarily mean that it's always going to turn out to be, you know, a long term thing. But as long as you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself, you feel you feel safe and secure and you're you're just in it for a good time. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. OK, I do see you kind of progressing towards, you know, wanting to actually get back into a, a solid committed relationship again but right now this just feels like the energy of you coming out of some sort of hiding okay the challenge in the first half of your reading here capricorn you've got the king of pentacles all right so this could very well be you all right but this is in fact technically this is taurus energy but this i do kind of feel like this is you capricorn in the sense of just being fixed and rooted yes very well grounded very well manifested but um Having gotten st stuck in a rut for some of you or just rooted in certain habits, um, this doesn't feel like a very fun energy, this King of Pentacles. He feels very stern, very serious, very focused. Um, the challenge is breaking out of that energy, loosening up a little bit. A kind of breaking into the, I would say, kind of the Queen of Pentacles energy, which technically would be you as a Capricorn. But this just fixed, feels very fixed and rooted. Whether you're a woman, a man or a woman, um, whether you're masculinely oriented or femininely, femininely oriented, this is more about just the fixed nature of what the King of Pentacles represents, okay? King of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Ace of Cups. Learning to love again. Learning to open yourself up to love. The challenge here is to open yourself up to love again because the King of Pentacles could be a very uh, an energy that's very much focused on finances, career, status, um, the p possessions, the physical realm, and not really too focused on emotion or anything like that. Um, love doesn't really have time for. Uh, I'm get, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I'm getting a very mu very much a an accountant energy from this King of Pentacles, someone that just sits there and crunches numbers all day. Like numbers are her, are her boyfriend or his girlfriend or, or his boyfriend or her girlfriend, you know, whatever your orientation is. Numbers is your lover, <laughs> is what I'm getting from this King of Pentacles. But now the challenge here is to break free from this, from this fixed and rooted state and open yourself up to some emotion, which 
has to do with loving yourself also, loving yourself enough to like start to open open up to emotions, open up to your own emotions. There could be a lot, especially with that Seven of Cups that came out here, there could be a lot that would be or could be or is coming to the surface for you that's kind of influencing this or allowing you to open up to emotion and romance and feelings. Okay, closing message or potential outcome for you in the first half of your reading, Capricorn. You have, woo, the Ten of Swords. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. The end of a really heartbreaking, painful cycle. For some of you, I am feeling like you've been kind of holding on to this or harboring this for some time, and now you're finally processing it. You're finally getting through it. You're finally dealing with it, especially with this King of Pentacles um, Ace of Cups energy. The Ace of Cups energy with the King of Pentacles in your challenge section here is really giving me the energy of facing some old wounds and loving yourself through them, okay? Ten of Swords is coupled with the King of Wands. All right, becoming confident again. You could have a uh, Leo in your chart or Aries or Sagittarius or you could uh, or you could have been de you could have had a relationship or dealt with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Um, Leo is the main one as it's the fixed energy. So for some of you, you're going from this King of Pentacles fixed energy, which is very much focused on finances, money, career, very much someone that uh, immers that immerges himself in their work and completely could get lost in it. You're, you're, you would be moving from that energy with the help of this Ace of Cups energy towards another fixed energy, yes, but a passionate one. Someone that's filled with desire or is desirable, because I did hear desire, yearning, longing for companionship is what I'm feeling with this King of Wands. And as you clean out, close out, complete cycles from the past that were really destructive and really hurt, painful for you, you allow yourself to open up to what you truly desire instead of being clammed up here in this King of Pentacles energy. Now, I'm not seeing that you're becoming any less fixed here. We really could be talking, speaking mostly to the, mainly to the masculine oriented individual. You're remaining fixed, I guess steadfast is the word that I want to use here. But you're opening yourself up to possibilities. You're opening yourself up to what you're truly passionate about and what it is you really want to achieve or accomplish in life in terms of more than just career finances and the physical, right? That's wonderful. You, whatever, what, and also Capricorn, whatever cycles you're closing out here with the Ten of Swords, it really is helping you. Ooh, I just heard see the bigger picture. But it's really helping you become confident again. Okay. Excellent. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Capricorn. First set of surrounding energies, you have the Five of Pentacles. All right. Lack, destitution, um, not feeling good enough. I really, I keep picturing a man that I'm, I'm communicating with, channeling for, doesn't have to be just a man. It could be a, a, a woman that's more masculinely, masculine oriented. But I'm, I'm seeing a, a man's face in my head as to who this pertains to. So take it as it resonates. But again, it doesn't have to be. It could just be someone that's masculinely or, oriented in energy. Um, but you've been in a place of feeling less than, not good enough, unworthy, not having enough, not being enough. And that's the energy that, this is the energy that kind of propelled you into focusing on career and finances because at least at that point, or from that point of view, you were adequate. But when it came to love, emotion or whatnot, you for some reason deemed yourself to be inadequate. And I do feel like if I am speaking to a man here, I do feel like you were in a relationship with a, a woman or a feminine energy that was, was degrading to you. 
But that feminine energy or that woman that I'm picking up on feels like they were kind of a gold digger. And I don't mean to insult. I don't mean to speak negatively on anyone's character. I'm literally just calling out what I feel. And you don't have to necessarily have been in a relationship with someone. Some in order to feel it. There's some sort of conditioning that someone has been dealing with that has kept them from feel. Kept them. I literally heard kept them emotionless. Kept them from wanting to feel emotion because for some reason you or they felt unworthy. Five of Pentacles, okay? Five of Pentacles is coupled with the star. Oh, yes, healing. Ugh, I love that. I feel like you're coming out of this, darkness, Capricorn. The star and the universe are guiding you towards breaking out of the shell, breaking free from this lack, okay? Like, I literally just heard, it's finally your time to shine, Capricorn. Not like it hasn't ever been, but now you're actually taking this opportunity to let yourself shine. Because you're ready, you're ready to, to feel love. You're, fe you're ready to feel emotion. You're ready to feel the sun shining on your face again. Gosh, that's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Capricorn. You've got the Four of Pentacles. Finally releasing these things is what I'm hearing. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Swords. Wow. That is a powerful energy. Yeah, I'm definitely, we're definitely speaking to a masculine oriented individual or a man. All right. And what you're going through is very much influenced by the feminine in the Empress, the divine feminine here. Okay. But Capricorn, you very much are. It's like you've realized that you being in this place of holding, holding on to your finances or focusing on your finances or being really closed off has actually been you reacting from an emotional state. And it's like you're realizing, well, wait a second, if that's an emotional state, if I can change that, then maybe I can have a better emotional state. Maybe I can be more, be happier and have a chance to feel greater emotional fulfillment. And so then with this King of Swords energy, you're kind of looking at what you've been holding on to objectively and saying, wait a second, that's not really of me. That's not mine to bear. I don't have to feel this way anymore. I can cut this out and I can open myself up to the right individual. That's beautiful, Cap. That is absolutely beautiful. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have the Hierophant. But you have to break away from convention. You have to break away from, break free from indoctrination. This kind of feels like a masculine energy breaking free of, and what, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna explain what I'm seeing to you. Um, I'm seeing businessmen in a boardroom or in like a lounge, the office lounge, or like maybe that, I, I'm, I'm kind of picking up a good old boys energy at a boys club sitting around in their suits, drinking their whiskey, their scotch, talking about their strong opinions of women or feminine energies that keeps them or keeps individuals in an energy of being closed off to love, however that resonates for you, okay? And it may not even be that specific of a situation for you, but for some of you, I mean, that's just an analogy for, for, for a lot of you, but having a sort of communal understanding or... Um, and I put understanding in air quotes because it's really not an understanding. It's just a, a collective or a, an agreed upon stance when it comes to the opposite sex or the counterpart, right? Breaking free from this, Capricorn, is your challenge in the second half of your reading. Not all men are the same. Not all women are the same. And I think that's really something you're starting to understand. The Hierophant is coupled with, ha, yes, judgment. Resurrection, redemption, cleansing the past, seeing things differently, waking up out of this almost zombie state with the Hierophant here, comatose, I heard, asleep, just, just like on au autopilot, allowing conventions of society to just drive you. 
But now it's like you're waking into becoming a free thinker, at least in the term of how emotions, where emotions are involved, okay? <clears throat> and love. Closing message or potential outcome in the la second half of your reading here, you have temperance. Excellent. Sagittarian energy. But this is a new you. This is you becoming a greater version of yourself. This is you taking all the things that you've been through in your past. Uh-oh. Um, my mic is being funny. Oh gosh, I hope the sound's okay. But this is you taking all of the convent all of the all of the things that you've been through in your past and alchemizing it into and, 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 and alchemizing it into a new you. Okay? This is the alchemical process. Keep in mind that this is um, not something that you can that is going to happen overnight. You do have to be patient with yourself, but Capricorn, I don't think you're going to have any problem with that. Because I really don't feel like you're really in the mindset of really wanting to rush anything. Keep in mind, I am kind of feeling that accountant energy. Okay? Um, slow and steady wins the race. I really, even though you're a cardinal energy, I don't, you do not feel like you really want to rush into anything. You do want to try something new, yes, but you understand that it's going to take time. It's got to, you got to let it develop naturally. It's not something that you want to rush into, and that's beautiful. Temperance is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. A brand new start, a brand new reality, okay? Yes, needing to find your footing, but starting a brand new chapter in your life. That's excellent, Capricorn. Okay. So now let's close out your reading here <clears throat> with your oracle guidance for the month of August from a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Capricorn for August 2019. Here we go, Cap. Best message, please, Spirit to close out this reading for Capricorn for August 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, I'm not gonna take all of those. Just one card, please. Just one card, please, Spirit. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Okay, yeah. Card number 39. Okay, well, you have a number, a number of them. Card number 29, seeing the true you. Okay, card number eight, be the hunter, not the hunted. Okay, and card number 30, the perfection of your life. Okay, that all kind of makes sense intuitively. Uh, I'm, not, I'm really not going to go into that because um, that's going to take too long. But I do want to read this card because this card feels like it's the right one with the right message for you at this time. It's card number 39, free from judgment, free to love. Okay. Okay, and this is a little bit of a long one, guys, so, so hang in there. Imagine a world so infused with bliss, love, and wonder that you naturally and always feel as safe as a nourished, cherished baby in the arms of the universal mother. Life mothers us with kindness and sometimes when we need it to grow through challenge as well. Accepting this mothering in, in, in its gentle and fierce faces can be difficult at times. Yet, there are those brave enough in spirit to go forth onto their life path with absolute trust in the Universal Mother. Some are even part of her plan to help mother others so that they too can surrender fear and live more freely. This oracle comes with a message for you. You are learning about mothering and being mothered, which is this Empress energy right here. Uh, you might not do this in a typical way. It might be through bearing children, but it also... I'm sorry, but it could also be through adopting children, raising children, or otherwise taking care of children and loving them as if they were your own. You might also be learning how to mother on a rather different scale, working with groups, communities, causes, or purposes that need your devotion, your energy, your belief in your value, in their value, and your willingness to be the wild tigress or the supportive shoulder to lean upon in order to bring those worthwhile groups to life. You may also be an aspect of the universal mother on a spiritual level. Some people that do this are male, some are female. Some have children and some do not. Some are healers and some work in seemingly more ordinary professions. 
They have a mothering aspect in common and they love and respect life. They believe in life, are moved by compassion and are genuinely encouraged and respectful of people. Rather than, <coughs> excuse me, rather than taking perverse, perverse delight when someone stumbles, they want to help. They are ordinary people with an extraordinary natural tendency to nurture life around them. This oracle brings you confirmation that you are amongst the Universal Mother's special clan of nurturing spirits that help to honor life on this planet. You are also being asked to open up to receive more nurturing. You can do this for yourself. You can also choose to open up and allow others to nurture you. It might make you feel a little vulnerable at first, especially if you are not used to doing this, but you don't have to worry. You will get used to value, valuing yourself enough to know that needing love and affection from another is an opportunity, not only for you to receive, but for someone else to give, which involves them being received too. If you are tired and have been taking care of everyone else, then take some time to shift the pattern and allow life to support you too. The Universal Mother helps the helpers so they can keep helping. It works rather well, you see, for those that give so much to also receive abundantly. If you have been asking life for a solution to a specific difficulty you have been having, this oracle comes with the message that a solution is in gestation right now. The situation is already being sorted out and the resolution will come to fruition very soon. Hold tight and wait for the imminent, re uh, the imminent birth that is, uh, uh, imminent birth of that resolution, which is also represented in this Empress energy as well. This is also a confirmation. If you are interested in working with children, the inner child, with art therapy for emotional healing or any sort of uninhibited creative expression that helps dislodge social conditioning and open one up to more spontaneous feeling-based existence, then yes, go ahead and do it. The Universal Mother is supporting you and you cannot get a more powerful ally. This oracle also brings you a message about love. You may find that you are, are loving or soon will love in a different way. You may worry about this love, given that it defies what you have known or been taught about love. Perhaps you are becoming able to love another tremendously, even though you don't have much of a personal relationship with them. You might question if this love is real. It is real. It is just happening at a different level to the love and attachment you experience when you are involved in a personal relationship with someone. It is not more or less. It is just a different facet of love. It may be that you are opening up to love the planet and her creatures, including the animals, the ocean dwelling life, your own body, the trees and so on, more than before. You may feel passionately purposeful about giving your time and energy to causes that protect and nurture the earth and her creatures. You are affirmed in this love too. The Universal Mother is operating through you to nurture life. She will support you in your work so that you can continue to come from love and not become drained, depleted, or lost in despair or fear of futility. Instead, you will be energized and expanded by your dedication, I'm sorry, by your dedicated service to life. Finally, this oracle may, uh, has a message for those who may be feeling alone or lonely and in need of greater nurturing from others. You are asked to stop, relax, center and settle into your body to feel your connection with life itself. The air in your lungs is the same air that moves the trees. The water in your blood is the same water that fills the oceans and is moved by the, plain, by the phases of the moon. The flesh of your body is the same substance as the body of the earth itself. The heat in your digestive system is the same fire and heat that is that, as that from the sun. Feel this connection and then do something nice for another without agenda. Make a donation, even just a small one. Smile, say a prayer, send out a good thought or make a wish for another. That's it. You have connected to life again and in doing so, life can connect with you. And so it shall. So there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!